Hello and welcome to our video cast on the new Somatic S7 1200 Compact Controller. My name is Paul Ruhlin from Siemens Industry in the USA. This is part two of our multi-part series on the S7 1200 Compact Controller and how to use the new Step 7 Basic software. Today we're going to cover reusable libraries, which is reusing pre-existing code in the structured logic architecture of the Step 7 Basic software. For our programming task today, we're going to integrate uh, this wiper control shown down here that goes back and forth across these three proxes into our existing uh, project from part one of the webinar uh, series. We're going to drag and drop pre-programmed wiper control libraries from um, a library repository into an existing project. We're going to show you how easily it is to parameterize this wiper control library using existing PLC tags without any typing or syntax uh, necessary. I'm uh, going to drag and drop the start switch command uh, signal to a physical input address without um, doing any other typing or knowing the um, syntax of the address. So to get started, we'll go into our portal view of the Step 7 basic programming software. I'm going to open our uh, previously programmed project from uh, part one of this uh, webinar series and we're going to go into it and into the main cyclic block and those of you that uh, watched part one we did our start stop seal in circuit on uh, rung number one network one and from this point we're going to bring in that wiper control library and we can go right over here to our uh, libraries tab and I've already um, pre-configured a library folder that I have maybe several uh, portions of uh, reusable code that um, maybe someone quite often uses for their machine or their control or their systems and the idea is that we can just simply drag in these blocks that are already proven logic already tested into any existing or new project and then bring over their tags into uh, the tag database for this project and then simply parameterize this particular block and this saves a lot of uh, repeat programs. See we got all our tags in here we can simply start parameterizing that particular block so with that we can just bring over its uh, left proc sensor for that wipe arm and then right proc sensor and it's already doing its addressing and allocation of memory uh, we got an enunciated output for when it's in running mode and then we have a direction control as well and then for this particular case for our uh, start switch as I mentioned we're going to um, use our IO configuration so we're going to float this window and uh, go into our um, device configuration that we previously showed and we're going to use the drag and drop capability right to the switch that uh, we want it wired so in this particular case we're going to bring it right to this uh, third switch and not really need to know any addresses so we're going to call this wiper start and bring it right over to this open input. So we know we got a hardwired switch um, on our test system right here. So with that we can just simply download directly to the controller. We don't have to configure any communication or any kind of setup. It knows from our detection of the hardware and our connection. It'll tell us if the um, PLC happens to be in start or stop mode and if we want to stop it to do uh, this particular program change, walk us through the compiling and the loading of uh, this updated logic, and then restart the PLC into run mode. And as we did in the uh, previous part, we can go online with it quickly, no other dialogues or any other preferences that need to be um, utilized to be able to go online and uh, test our logic and see um, status and power flow in the particular block or circuits that we are troubleshooting. So with this, I'll turn on uh, that third switch as my uh, wiper start. You can see it's active and the wiper is oscillating between uh, the two proxes and showing activation in its position and we're up and running. So we didn't have to do any special program. We didn't have to do any cut and pasting of any previous logic. These libraries can be stored on a server and can be brought right into a uh, system quite easily. So the benefits of uh, using the reusable libraries and the structural logic of the Step 7 basic software are that reusable libraries are easily configured for repeat function. No time consuming data entry or typing or reusing logic cut and paste <laughs> repeatedly. Drag and drop of libraries and tags from any location. These can be stored and archived as you know intellectual property for reuse in um, common repeat uh, automation systems. Uh, User-friendly software, easy navigation, you see how everything was point-click, fill-in-the-blank, reduces typing time, possibility of errors. 
uh, overall system capabilities is this one programming software for the S7-1200, one user program for logic, HMI, and networking. This greatly reduces engineering time, costs, easier to maintain. It's a global product line, has all Siemens controllers, worldwide approval, accepted across the industry. This is designed on S7 core technology, so you know it's future-proof, sustainable, easy to standardize and benefit. Thank you for viewing this webinar webcast, and hopefully that you'll view other uh, videocasts in this seminar.